Hi, I'm Michael Pleasner, and today's Thursday, March 28th, 2013, and, and I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I've had a problem with my teeth all my life. When I was 12, uh, I went to a dentist and they told me that I had to have, that I should have four teeth pulled because my teeth were crooked. So an orthodontist uh, did that, they pulled the teeth and they straightened them out after a couple of years. And then in, starting in my 20s and in my 30s, I started having problems with my teeth. You know, whether it's genetics is part of it, and another part of it is I know I loved carbohydrates and sugar. So I did it to myself, you know. I, mean, I know my mother and father lost all their teeth, and I couldn't, you know, I would watch my mother eating and see her dentures, and it didn't look good, and, and it looked awful. And at first, you know, I just had cavities and then root canals, and eventually in my 30s and 40s and 50s, I was losing one tooth after another. And I had a great dentist, and I tried to use, you know, I did dental floss and I had visits, but I was my own worst enemy eating carbohydrates and sugars. And finally, the dentist put in a partial on the bottom, and, and then I would keep losing more and more teeth, and he would just add more and more artificial teeth. And the same thing happened to the top. And now I'm 66 years old, I'm going to be 67, and about three or four years ago, or even longer, I knew that I was going to one day lose all my teeth. And, and I didn't even have, I was too nervous to ask what was going to happen. And finally, about two years ago, I asked the dentist. I still had five teeth on the top and only four teeth on the bottom, and, and the dentist told me, the four teeth on the bottom, I was definitely going to be losing them. There was nothing he could do. And I asked him, well, what will happen when I lose all my teeth? And he said you could put an imp two implants on the bottom, and I could put a denture, another partial to fill out the rest of the mouth, and then I could put a permanent, uh, I mean, not a, a denture on the top that you have to put in and out every night. And then I talked to lots of people, and I read on the Internet about dentures and how much trouble they are and that you have to put either adhesives or tape and they, they move around and you lose 70, 80, 90 percent of your efficiency and then after six months or a year, year and a half, you have to keep going in and getting new dentures or getting them modified and it's just like a lifetime of uh, difficulties. So I did go into a dentist and he told me for $9,000 I could get three implants and a denture, and that was just the bottom. And then I thought, okay, for the top, it'll be at least another $10,000. So I said, that's about $20,000 just for dentures and three implants. And so I got on the Internet and I started looking, uh, and I found a man that told me he could do full reconstruction, uh, full replacement teeth with four implants on the bottom and four implants on the top, called all in four, and he said it'll be 25000 on the bottom and 25000 on the top, $50,000. And I looked on the internet across the country and that actually was a very reasonable price. Some people charge sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 for all in four. So I started looking at other countries, Mexico, Costa Rica and, and Bulgaria, places in Europe, and so oftentimes the price was cheaper, but you had to go at least two, two visits, maybe three visits, and maybe ten days for each visit, and they might put on partials. Uh, do, you know, take out all your teeth, I still had nine teeth, do the extractions, and then put on par, uh, temporary teeth and what would happen during that time? And what would happen if anything went wrong? And then how would I, you know, when I come back to the United States, what would I do if something went wrong? And then during that whole time wearing tempers, what would happen if something went wrong? Would I fly back? And, uh, and, and I definitely worried, one of my main concerns uh, was about the pain that I was going to feel. And, uh, you know, they, you can only read and watch videos and they said, oh, don't worry, you'll be all right. And then some of the people that went there said, yeah, you'll be all right, but there's various amounts of pain. 
And of course it varies from individual to individuals. Well, finally, I, I thank God I saw an advertisement for Dr. Mike Gopa uh, in Las Vegas, which I have, I'm lucky I live in Southern California, and it's, uh, I drove here like four or five hours, and, and I found his price to be unbelievable, advertised as the most inexpensive, high quality price in America, and yesterday I had the surgery. I see Mr. Gopa walking by, Dr. Gopa walking by right now. And I, again, I was so apprehensive about everything. And the staff, when you first talk to Kelly and she explains everything, I mean, she's, you know, wonderful and sincere, but you still, okay, that's a nice person. And, and I talked to Carlos and I talked to a few other people and yeah, the staff is wonderful, supportive, both before, during the treatment and here I am the day after the treatment. And look at me, I, this is the truth. I had the treatment yesterday. I came in at seven in the morning and I got out, who knows, it was like two or three o'clock. I had nine teeth removed, four on the bottom and five on the top. I was scared to death of what it was gonna be like. I wasn't too worried about the day after even, I've had one, I've even had two teeth pulled. And yeah, there's soreness and swelling and you can have pain for a day or two days or three days, but I was thinking, wow, I need this more than anything in the world. Do I need a new set of teeth? You know, and I, I'll do anything, so. But I was still scared. I figured I could take medication, I could deal with the pain afterwards, but I was so worried about the pain during the procedure. Well, it turns out, all, the last thing I remember is the anesthesiologist saying, uh, what kind of drink do you drink? And I said, I don't drink a lot, but I guess you know, I like a, mar a margarita, I'll just have one and I feel good. He said, well, all right, this is, you know, I had the IV and that's the last thing I remember. And then when I woke up, I, I, I you know, I was like, I was, you know, groggy and out of it from the anesthesia. But I felt, I was just so happy. I thought, that's it, I'm done. And uh, I, went, I went home and I did have soreness naturally from having nine teeth pulled and four implants put on the bottom and four implants in the top. I took an ibuprofen and I took uh, uh, something for the, uh, you know, to help me with uh, the bacteria. And then I did take a, a pain, one pill pain medication and, and that was it. And then that was like at five o'clock or six o'clock. And then I, just to make sure, I didn't really feel any pain at 12 o'clock, but I took I had an orange and some yogurt and I took another couple pills just to make sure, just so I didn't, just in case. And in the morning I woke up, I felt fine. You can see now it's 12.30. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna put, get my full teeth put in. And I've seen on the uh, internet, you know, how they take a drill and they just put the teeth in and they put in a drill. But yesterday, the doctor, when he was once again making a fit, I already put in like a, a temporary and put in like a screw and it went in easily and there was absolutely no pain so I don't expect any pain and I'm, I, I'm overjoyed. I'm so happy to have, be having new teeth that hopefully if I maintain them and I use, I bought a hydro floss machine that irrigates, that you know, I'm going to take good care after meals and use it and come in once in a while to, you know, have maintenance and you know, not eat, you know, eat healthy. I've already been eating healthy because uh, you know, for your gums and your heart, you know, I, I eat a balanced diet of proteins and carbs and not too much sugar. And so I already eat healthy, but I'm blessed to have found this place in Las Vegas, like 10 miles from the Strip, a beautiful office, wonderful people. You'll think I'm getting paid or that I'm making this up. I'm getting no benefit, no uh, not, not one cent from doing this uh, info commercial or whatever it is. I, I, it's from the bottom of my heart. I'm blessed that I'm, I'm getting permanent teeth and I felt no pain yesterday. A little pain when I went home naturally from not having nine teeth extracted and four implants put on the bottom and four implants put on the top. But basically I felt really no more pain than when I'd had one or two teeth extracted and I've had well, I'm telling you, I have nine teeth left, and I think you have 32 to start with, and I had four pulled when I was 12. 
So I think I had 28 teeth minus nine. I've had 17 teeth pulled, so I'm, I'm experienced at, uh, you know, what it's like to have a tooth pulled. And this wasn't any worse having nine teeth extracted because I don't even remember <laughs> what happened. I wasn't aware of what was going on yesterday during the extraction. So, uh, God, if you're thinking about coming here for one tooth, to have uh, one implant put in, or three, or your whole bottom, or your whole top, or you want to get, uh, there are lots of procedures, you know, veneers, and uh, diff different procedures. This is a great place. Uh, I love my dentist at home, but he basically did, uh, you know, cavities, and he referred me out for extractions. And, uh, you know, if you need implants, if you need reconstruction, if you need to make a more beautiful smile, you know, uh, even basic dental work, uh, Mike Opa, dentist in Las Vegas, I think he's been doing this for 16 years. You won't get a, great, a better price, and you won't get better service, and you won't feel better before, during, the most important thing, during the procedure, and I, in, in a few minutes I'm going to be getting uh, my permanent teeth put in, and that, that doesn't take that long, and, and I couldn't be more thrilled. So. Uh, thank you, thank you for listening, and this has been a great experience. <laughs> All right, that was great. I can't believe you're like a TV spokesman. Yeah, I know. I mean, wow, that was good. Oh, yeah. Upper and lower jaw yesterday. Uh, procedure took about four, four and a half hours. Uh, we just placed the upper bridge, and Looks great. Now we just have to do the lower one. Let's. It's truly a miracle. <laughs> Let's take these temporary abutment off. All the implants went in at a very good torque. Um, that's what you usually get when you use Noble Active Implant. like upper we just set it down on the implant these are uh, now we're able to do titanium framework uh, bridge right on the first day this is something that nobody else offers or their facility is not capable to fabricate the titanium framework in one day. Um, everything goes in very passively. Thanks to our master lab technician.
all tight and secure. Good and bite down slowly, slowly, slowly. Bite on your back teeth, bite on your back teeth. Relax your jaw, relax your jaw, relax your jaw. Okay, close, 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 close. Yep, that's it. There, we're good. See, yeah, bite down. Okay, watch. Relax, bite relax. down, relax your jaw, relax, relax your jaw. Perfect bite. Now close, close, stay close. Make sure you stay close, don't open. Did you get this? This is the first try. That's it. We're done. Huh. Wow. wow. Give me a big smile. Big smile. Awesome. I finished yesterday around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Started at 7. I had 9 extractions and 4 implants on the bottom and 4 implants on the top. And I, I feel terrific. I really... Awesome. I feel amazing. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, hi. I'm Michael Poisoner and this is the follow-up. I just had... Uh, about 45 minutes ago, Dr. Gopa uh, put in the put in my new teeth, and and I could cry right now. I mean, it's just it's a miracle. It absolutely is a miracle. Uh, the the technician Robert was there, who I guess uh, you know makes the actual teeth and works on them, and both of them uh, really care. They. I mean, when they were when my teeth were placed in, and, and it seemed like they were fine, they just kept looking at them again to make sure they're symmetrical, that they fit right, that they uh, everything. And, and he, he made several adjustments that just has to do with the high standards that this office, Dr. Gopa, and everybody that works for him. There's the highest standards and care for your uh, health, your safety. Uh, they, they want you to have a minimum amount of discomfort, but at the highest, at the same time, they really want the highest result. It's, it's their work of art, you know, and they really value their work as if it was for them or for their sons or daughters or wives or, you know, so it's, it's, it's look at, I can't believe it. I, I, it's gonna, when I go home right now, I'm going to be looking in the mirror a thousand times, and, and when I wake up tomorrow morning, I, a thousand times. I've been afraid to smile. And here's what I... That's what I looked like before and I've been embarrassed and I've been hiding and I've been in fear and I haven't been eating well and I've had pain and discomfort and uh, this, this is truly a miracle and I, I feel great.